What's up everyone? So today's video is going to be for those of you who have an Xbox One console or, and are kind of curious as to what the April update uh, is going to bring to your console. I'm in the update uh, beta program to where like, my Xbox One gets to preview the updates in a beta form so we can leave uh, feedback and suggestions and things like that on the forum. So I figured it'd be cool to kind of share these things with you uh, because there is no like NDA on it like I can share this kind of stuff with you it's not something that's uh, you know uh, classified or top secret or things like that like so I can share it with you um, but in April there's gonna be another update and I think the the uh, biggest change uh, to it is friend online of notifications uh, keep in mind that this video isn't isn't gonna be like any gameplay it's 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 just strictly kind of like an information video uh, or like an informative uh, video um, so I have a friend of mine right now uh, Brent who who I had him sign off and sign back on but I keep on uh, fucking this up because I keep on doing this commentary over and over because I'm trying to go over so many things but the main thing is friend online of notifications uh, to me that's the biggest uh, game changer and right now you can see uh, he he uh, just got online, and it gives you the option to hold the Xbox button, and um, it'll bring you to his profile. And I think that that's a pretty cool uh, feature to have. Um, if you remember on the uh, 360, if you didn't have a 360, I'll inform you now, but I'm sure most of you know uh, <laughs> that when you had a 360, when your friends would sign online, it would just kind of say that they're online. And we all thought that that was pretty cool, you know, like it was neat. Now, on the Xbox One, they took it a step further. And now, whenever your friend gets online, um, you can hold down uh, the Xbox button on your controller, and it'll take you to their profile. That way, you know, like if you see one of your uh, buddies gets online, and, and like you want to send him a party invite and chat, or let's go play a game, it'll go straight to, uh, to his profile, so you could send that to him, and then and you could talk. Uh, we're gonna send Brent a uh, thank you for helping me make this video because. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to have to send messages to all of my friends and and I'd be like, hey, can you all get online offline? Um, I didn't want to do that. Uh, Brent's been a a long time friend of mine, so I figured he would do it, and he did like a couple of times. So uh, thank you, Brent. And uh, we're gonna quit that. But uh, what I'm gonna show you is something pretty cool with the whole friend online notification system. Um, you can actually uh, filter that, so you can go to your settings and go to preferences. And if you go down at the bottom, there's an option that says sign in and broadcast right here. And you can filter it to where you can either change it to, you know, like all of your friends online of notifications pop up whenever, you know, like any friend gets online. You, um, or you can make it to where it's only favorites only. I mean, I personally would rather see like all of my friends whenever they uh, get online, you know, because I don't I would just want to talk to just my favorites. So. Or you could just set it as no one. That way you're not interrupted to any pop-ups. I personally don't mind a pop-up uh, because I would like to actually see, uh, see like if my friends get online. Of you know, I mean, I just think it's a it's a cool feature. So, I mean, um, I don't see why you wouldn't want it to happen. Um, so yeah, that's friend online notifications. And if anyone else gets online while I'm making this video, we'll show you. Uh, but um, something else that uh, they added, um, and I'll read it to you real quick. There's not a lot of cool new things that they added. There's maybe uh, three. Uh, one of them being the friend online of notifications. Uh, they added another um, thing that I can actually show you. Because some of the stuff that they added, uh, it's like I can't really show you. It's more of a uh, quality thing that they added. They also had a new controller firmware uh, system update uh, for your controller. And if you don't know how to update your controller, like all you do is plug it in via... Of a USB and uh, you update it, and then simply like uh, those updates are mainly for those people of uh, like me who has a, a chat adapter because it improves quality and things like that. But there's a new thing that they added that I can show you right now, and it says uh, 50 hertz of Blu-ray uh, play support for content recorded at 50 hertz. So um, in settings, if you go to display and sound. There's now an option right here that says enable 50 hertz. I really don't know what all that shit is, so I'm not really going to go into turning it off and turning it on. I'm just going to leave it on because it's there. I'm like, I didn't fuck with it. Like, I don't know what all that stuff really does. Um, but they added that ability. And uh, 
I'll actually go over some of the other things that they added. They added game save, <laughs> save. game save uh, progress bar will now uh, be displayed when seeking cloud save games. I really haven't experienced that, so I don't know how to actually show you that. Uh, they improved the game uh, DVR video quality. I can't show you that. I don't even know what to do with that. Friend online notifications. I just showed you my friend Brent get online. There's a new feature requested by the update preview uh, community, and it says manually install available updates. So it says if a new system update is detected as available, a button will appear under settings system that will uh, display system updates. Uh, system update and it says uh, well that's not important uh, <laughs> there's another new feature that says a new ability to to um to automatically redeem a license code from console messages for future console messages that include a 5x5 license code a new option will appear to allow you to automatically redeem the license of um, instant well like instead of having to copy and paste the license code so I mean that's about it as far as what they've added, they fixed some things that are pretty much just quality adjustments. Like, um, they, as far as the controller, they address the controller of disconnect issues and they address the headset adapter um, audio quality. So that's a new thing. Uh, and pretty much there's just a bunch of optimization stuff. And I'll actually link you this little. This little article, well, I mean, it's not an article, it's it, it's on the, the Xbox forums, but what I urge you guys to do, for any of you that watch my videos or these system updates of um, things, if you want to be in on the loop like I do, as far as what's new with your Xbox console, like with these updates and stuff, go to the forums, read the forums, uh, participate in them, and especially those of you who have your Xbox One registered to preview uh, the updates and stuff, you need to be active on the forums because you're providing feedback that's going to give like everyone a, a better product like overall. So uh, just because you're like in a beta, don't just think, oh, uh, you know, like I'm in a beta, so it's all uh, cool and dandy that I'm in here just because I get to have it like a few weeks early. That's not the point. You have to test the product and get feedback. That's the whole uh, point of a beta. So I'm staying active on the forums. Um, I'll actually link you to the forums if you want to stay active on it. It's it's a uh, it's a uh, pretty cool to. Uh, to kind of take part in so uh, that's about it um, I mean it, it's, I'm not gonna read you all of the fixes I'm not gonna read you all the bugs uh, you can actually go here and uh, read that for yourself if you want uh, mainly I just wanted to show you what the friend online of uh, notifications look like so that you can see what it looks like uh, and it's a pretty cool thing so if you found this video informative, which I'm pretty sure I would, I'd like to think so, uh, feel free to give it a like rating and share it with uh, with your friends who may or not be on the Xbox One gaming community. So, if you liked the video, give it a like rating, share it with your friends, and uh, we'll see you next time.